So, Bookmine. The world is full of mobile apps. <coughs> Everyone has God knows how many of them on their phone, tablet, whatever. And the library has one as well now. Uh, if you remember, I also did a presentation on this last May is that we finally got Bookmine up and running, which is the mobile app for Horizon and Symphony as well. So Rochester Public uses it. This is what patrons can use to go in and access the catalog to get in there and make requests. I actually, I'm in a play right now, and I was talking with one of the cast members, and he's like, so when is the library going to allow me to search on my phone to find materials rather than having to go to the computer every time? I'm like, actually, there's an app for that. Let me point it out to you. Here, let's download that. OK, there you go. So it does exist. Um, it is a mobile solution. It is app-based. It is both for iOS and Android. They are separate apps for this, obviously, because they have different stores in it. And it comes with a scanner built into it. So when you are using Bookmine, if you are like at Barnes & Noble, you're like, does my library have this book? You can just scan the UPC, search the database, and see if there are any results in the SoCo system or Rochester system to see if anything matches against it. And it is integrated with other Seriously Dynamics products. Not 100% sure how well it's working with the ERC right now as they did some updates to that, which have been screwing things around with other systems. I haven't encountered them yet on ours. I'm not saying they don't exist. But it should integrate with the ERC to bring in OverDrive material so you can download it from there and put it onto your mobile device directly from the catalog, shall we call it. That said, it is a mobile solution, so it does require that app. Those of you who've heard me talk last spring heard me also heard me say this, is that I much prefer to have a responsive design on the catalog rather than requiring another app on my phone. That is still not there yet. Cersei Dynix is promising to work on something, and it is on my to-do list to actually go through and monkey with enterprise myself and make it responsive to work better on phones. But that is a massive undertaking. OK, little provisos here on the iOS version of it. If you are searching for it on your iPad right now, make sure to look under the iPhone apps. It is created for the iPhone, not the iPad. It can be run on the iPad. It's just, like, just big. There's no real additional features or anything like that. One thing about this one is that it still runs through HIP, the Horizon Information Portal. This is like the basic way to access through the database that Circe Dynix is trying to eventually move us out of, so we have fewer things relying on HIP. So it is a little bit different from the Android version of it just because of that. And it is still on version 3.0. You'll see that the Android one is actually up to 4.0. And when you're playing around in BookMind, it does have some suggested reading lists in there. The ones on the iOS one are supplied through Goodreads. The Android version is run through Blue Cloud Central, which is the cloud version of Cersei Dynix's management for ILS stuff. Eventually, they're hoping to move a lot more stuff into the cloud to get things out there. You've heard the catalogers talk about Blue Cloud cataloging, maybe even heard us talking about Blue Cloud Circ, Blue Cloud Analytics. So that's going to be run through there, which makes it much easier for us to manage it because HIP is kind of a nightmare to get in and adjust things to. The lists on this one, much like Enterprise, are supplied by New York Times and USA Today. We can, and this one we can customize which lists are available for per, on a per library basis, depending on which one they select as their library one. And it runs off of a separate web service from the iOS one. So if you ever encounter any issues with BookMine not working properly, you need to let us know if it's iOS or Android, because at completely different settings, completely different connections to Horizon, at least for the moment. Okay, here's a little bit of what BookMine looks like. And if you have your device with you, feel free to download it. It is free. So simple enough. Um, you can see over there, these are all iOS screenshots right in here. This is just the basic interface. And this is one of the reasons why I want a responsive catalog rather than the app, because I think it's kind of ugly, personally. So you see over there is just your search. You can change that title to author, keyword, subject. 
and go through that way. You can log into my account, and that's the right screen as well, and see what's on there, my personal information, my checked out items, my holds, my finds. I can change my PIN through the catalog. And now up on top, you'll see Austin Public Library up there. That's who I have selected right now as my library. When you first get in here, it won't have one. You'll need to find one. Or if you need to change it later on, you just click up there, and it goes to a screen like this second one. And it will find the closest library to you by default. Or you can search by name, or you can look at a map and find the ones that are near you to get your library loaded in there. And then you can save it in as a favorite. I have apparently John Marshall and Soko selected as my favorites when I took these screenshots. OK. And then you'll see this is what the book list look like in the iOS version of it, the Goodreads ones. The middle one is how a search result looks after you do it. So this is just a Harry Potter search in here. You'll see the items. You can select those little circles. You know, I would love to be able to do this interactive, but it's really hard to do on a projector when you're working on a computer rather than a device. So you just select those, and then you go up to the little arrow up in the square and that's where you choose the action, where you're going to place a hold. You're going to send an email of it to yourself so you can remember to do it later. And then once you get to that point, you just do your select your pickup library, and you're good to go. You can also see item information. Once you click onto the title, go down there and see what is available. These three copies are available for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm I don't know which version that is. I'm surprised there's only three items, but I'm guessing it's not the main book. So that's what some of the screenshots look like. Um, honestly, that's what I have for my presentation right now. Does anyone have any questions on this? Yes. You have more of an announcement than a question. Uh, I have a little more stuff. <laughs> I have some swag from Cersei Dynix that I'm going to pass out yeah, for me to get as part of our launch. And we need a mic. OK. Rachel, did you sell the handheld? Sorry, I should have just run over to Terry and grabbed it. That's okay. This should be on. Thank you. Um, I'm Jennifer Harville, and I'm the communication specialist here. And uh, Tyler has been helping me uh, get ready to launch a promotion of BookMine. So there's a press release that's going out to the entire region um, that will announce to patrons and users that this is available now. Uh, it's up as a news item on the website, and it's also on the carousel with a link to the news item. And posters are going out in delivery that have a handy little QR code. So these are designed to be put in the these are designed to be put in the plastic holders and set on your circ desk or someplace prominent where users can see them, and they can take a picture of the little QR code and it will lead them to the news item on the Selco website with links to both the Android and iOS app stores. So with two clicks they can get to downloading the app. Um, so the poster is here, the information is going out, the swag is being passed around, and does anybody have any questions for me about how this is working? I guess the one thing that I would say is that it would be really helpful as patrons have questions or comments about how the app works or does not for them. Um, your best bet is to ask them to please use the feature where they can review the app in the App Store. Um, that is the best way for app developers to get information about how people are using an app and what features they like, what features they maybe want to see in the future. Um, and the more information that the developers get from those reviews, the more responsive they're going to be to that. So definitely advise your users to, to review the app and really let them know what's useful, what's not, and the features that they would like to see. Which also reminds me, when it comes to supporting your users on this one, BookMine, when you download it, does come with a support file on it that includes all the standard documentation. 
There is no real Selco customization on this app because there really isn't any to do. So the, all of the steps in that support documentation should match how our product works. I'll go sit down. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, Bonnie. From my notes in May, you said you weren't sure if there was item specific request capability. And I forgot to check on it very promptly. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I will write an email to myself right now. Are you remembering to search for the iPhone apps? OK. If there isn't anything else, we can cut out a few minutes early and go to lunch. Thank you all for coming. I have a couple general oh. bookkeeping kind of questions that I had from last time. Yes, go ahead, Jake. Um, can I give him the mic? Have an ILS update, um, hang on. I'll, I'll repeat your questions. OK, I believe we were scheduled to have an ILS update to enable patron photos in the records. The um, next upgrade for Horizon does include that. Um, we have not scheduled our upgrade for that, and we are going to hold off until we have Cheryl back before we approach that. Okay. And the other one is related is that uh, I remember talking to Gina about a Citrix upgrade too. Is that still forthcoming at some point? Um, yes. Jake's first question, which I said I was going to repeat and then I didn't, was about the upcoming Horizon upgrade which provides for patron photographs in the borrower record. That's what I was referring to a moment ago. We're going to wait until Cheryl gets back. Uh, Jake's second question had to do with a Citrix upgrade. We do have a fairly major Citrix upgrade that we need to perform in the coming year. Um, we do not have that scheduled yet. We're going to let Rick get a little more established before we take that on. But it's definitely on the horizon. Okay. But if, if it works the way we are planning, though, it should not have any impact on the online libraries because we will be performing the upgrade by actually building Citrix on a different set of servers while you continue to use the existing production servers. So cross your fingers. If all works right, it shouldn't have any impact on the libraries. But we're still a little ways from being ready to do that. And I will say, I'm checking the Source Identic site right now. The next upgrade for Horizon hasn't been released yet, which, no surprise there. <laughs> but that is the one that contains the uh, patron photographs. And email receipts. Yay. Any other questions before we break it up? All right, well, thank you all so much for coming.